Napo and Goshi have been cohabiting for the last four years. They are jaguars, although Goshi is sometimes known as the Black Panther. You'll often hear people say, oh, a panther. Panther isn't actually a real thing. It's just a generic term for black cat. If the sun's shining on her, you can actually see she does have the rosette patterns like Napo. Um, she just is black. Napo and Goshi were carefully matched, brought together from different zoos after being identified as genetically compatible. But so far, the zoo haven't been allowed to breed them, as numbers in zoos across Europe have been too high. We can't keep popping out babies all over the place. We need to know uh, where they're going to go and make sure we've got nice homes for them. But now, um, lots of cubs have been moved on and there's a lot more space out there, so uh, we have now got a recommendation to breed. It's just kind of a bit of a waiting game now, and they've, they've got to do the job. Before that can happen, keepers have to wait for Napo's contraceptive device to expire. That's been lowering his sperm production for the last two years. You'd look at him and you think he's you know, big and strong and very impressive looking. But when it comes down to it, he's, he's just a big softy, really. Goshi very much wears the trousers in this relationship. For Goshi to accept him as a mate, he's got to become more dominant. Goshi certainly wants the biggest, strongest, fiercest jaguar out there. You know, she wants the best genes possible for her cubs. So she's not going to go for the, for the soppy, lazy, can't be bothered male. Napo definitely needs to man up a little bit. It's been several weeks since Napo the Jaguar was taken off his contraceptive. And he's behaving a little differently. Napo's really started to come into his own. He's started to be a lot more of a, a dominant male around that area. You know, he, he comes strutting his stuff into the dens, whereas before he'd really take his time and he'd be a lot more chilled. And, you can definitely see a big change in his character. He is starting to put Goshi in her place a bit more. She maybe doesn't get away with as many things um, before he tells her off. Hey, big man. You ready, fella? Good boy. At his weekly health check, the keepers are looking to see if his body has changed, as well as his behaviour. Napo, open. Open. Good boy. Hold. Boy. Looking at 72.6 kilos. It's a nice weight for him. There is some theory that um, their testicles do actually reduce in size um, when they have this implant. And, and we've both seen it, haven't yeah. we? We do think they are quite a bit bigger. <laughs> Pause. Napo may be fully developed again, but he still has to have the urge. Finish. Good boy. <laughs> get all the uh, factors right, you can get two great sets of genetics, you can get the enclosure down to a T, but at the end of the day, those two individuals have got to be receptive to each other and actually find each other attractive. They've been together for this long and, you know, it's, we've been waiting for the moment and, you know, if, if they just weren't compatible, well, we, we'd be gutted. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that won't happen. <laughs> <laughs>